This is not a test. A possible nuclear device has been detonated within the city. Seek shelter at once. This is a disaster unlike any that has happened in our nation. Fortunately, this is a training exercise conducted by U.S. Northern Command and led by U.S. Army North. The military is not in charge, but provide needed support to FEMA and assistance requested by civilian responders. We try to ensure that within the first 24 hours we have what we call life-saving capabilities. Uh, in the world we call the FedEx package, where it has to be there overnight. It consists of about a thousand personnel and about a, uh, a thousand short tons pieces of equipment to make sure that hey, we're there to be first, in a sense, first responders. Approximately 9,000 military personnel and civilians from federal agencies throughout the country trained to respond to a catastrophic domestic incident. They are a specialized force. My team takes all the radiological gear, chemical gear, to detect any chemicals or radiation. And we're trying to find out where the hazards are. We try to find number of casualties, how many are ambulatory, non-ambulatory. Ambulatory survivors will be told where to go for help. All will go through a decontamination process. Oh. You see we have an ambulatory side where we have walking wounded where they come through and they're deconned. The non-ambulatory side is where we have people who cannot walk where they're litter, litter carried and they're brought through the decon site and they're actually manipulated on the litters by the soldiers. They're then taken over to the medical tents where they get triaged and cared for by the medics that support us. Coffee breathing? No. All thought I was going to die. Seriously injured patients are rapidly moved to a field hospital. So the biggest thing with the critical patients is to get them in and get them moving to another level of our hospital. So if somebody's coming in and look critical, we're going to contact the surgical unit, we're going to contact the ICU right away to let them know we have patients coming in. They may come to the patient in the ICU or, or in the ER for us. We can start focusing on some of the, um, the less injured patient or the less critical patients. Soldiers and airmen are proud to be first responders, aiding civilian authorities and the injured in a time of emergency. One thing is sure. Uh, I'm not excited about the possibility of what would bring us to this kind of an event, whether it be a nuclear, chemical, or even like a natural disaster type of event. Um, but I look forward to the fact that we'd be able to help out the civilian population. Great. From Muscatatuck Urban Training Center, Indiana. I'm Specialist Chuck Gill. Okay. So, 